Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Talks with Tony. Got a question come in today from a young lady and it says, Hi, Tony. I always listen to your videos and they help me so much. Thank you for that. You're welcome. I have a question in which I already know the answer, but I always enjoy getting the confirmation to remind myself that I need to buy him the famous track shoes. Uh, I see you listen to or read the Instagram story Q&A. So I was dating this guy for almost a year. We've known each other for 16 years and recently he left me to go back with his ex-wife. When I was with him, he was separated but not legally divorced. We dated for almost a year. Then one day he freaked out and told me he couldn't be with me anymore because he had started to go to church and became a born again Christian and felt guilty that he was with me while he was technically still married. At first I got mad and we had a huge fight only because he had said so many things to me that I now realize were all lies. Anyhow, he left me and five weeks later came back looking for me. I accepted him back and we spoke and got back together. After that breakup, he would flip out once a month with the same excuse about his religion and leave me. He did this five times in five months. Did this five times in five months. I, of course, like an idiot, kept taking him back. Last time he did it to me was in September and I flipped out once again and went to his house to form a scene because I was so mad. When he came out of his house, his ex-wife came right behind me. I freaked out because I had no idea he went back to her. He told me then and there to leave him alone and that he never wanted to see me again. I was shocked and devastated. I got in my car, blocked his number, and never spoke to him since then. Sometimes I see him pass by my job and drive by and I think, why would he be driving by here if he went back to his ex-wife and claims to be such a Christian? Why does he trigger me? Is it to get a reaction from me? Please give me your opinion. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much for writing in. Now, this is, you know, a, a deep little situation. I'm, the last part made me curious. I'm like, wow, you sitting at work just looking out the window, you know, just watching cars pass by and you just know his car that well. And and you assume he's driving by your job to trigger you. Um, and why does it get a reaction from you? Technically and truthfully, you did play the fool. You did play the fool. You played a major fool, a absolute major 100 percent fool. And I believe the Oscars just happened and I don't believe the fool won any awards. So I want you to remember this and I want everybody on the sound of my voice to remember this. The fool does not win awards. It is not good pay and there is no award for it. So moving forward in your life, never play the fool again. And were you stupid? Yes, you were. And we have to start calling it what it is. Stupid is as stupid does, like Forrest Gump said, and we have to be able to look ourselves in the mirror. Some days I gotta look at myself in the mirror and I gotta say, Tony, that was real stupid. That was really stupid. That was a stupid decision. And you gotta tell yourself that and you gotta be honest with yourself. It's not beating up on yourself, it's being real with yourself. Because if you give yourself too, too many passes, you'll keep doing the same thing over and over. Now, he triggers you because you're mad at yourself. You ain't really mad at him because you allowed it. He wasn't forcing himself in your life. He didn't force you to have sex with him. He didn't force you to date him. You allowed it. So he triggers you because you're mad with you. You're upset with yourself and you're taking it out on him. And the other thing what you have to realize, and this is a lesson for everybody is Never date someone who is not legally divorced. Because if a person was married, they already got a soul tie. So they already have a soul tie. It's even much worse if they're not all the way divorced. So in that situation, anytime a man dates a woman 
and he's legally married, you are a rebound. You are a rebound. And he's talking about, oh, I went to church and became born again. If that ain't the biggest lie in the world, I went to church and became a born again Christian. I can't be with you. But then come back to you five weeks later and then come back to you every month. And, and every month he's sleeping with you because if y'all weren't, you would have made that point. You would have said we well, don't have sex. And if you weren't having sex, he wouldn't have been dealing with you anyway. So I know y'all have sex. So he's sleeping with his ex. -wife. He's sleeping with his wife. He ain't his ex-wife because they weren't legally divorced. Sleeping with his wife and he's sleeping with you. Both of y'all giving both of y'all dirty D. Giving both of y'all dirty D one right after the other. Sometimes in the same day. Sometimes in the same day, both of y'all got the same dirty D in you. And I need you to understand that. I need you to process that. I need you to sit down and I need you to really visualize Dirty D in his ex-wife and then coming out no shower in you. Process that. Process it. Visualize it. Look at it. Get it in your spirit. And then understand. Understand now all the red flags. Now look at all the red flags that you saw that you ignored. Get it all the way in you because tomorrow you may meet a man just like him, but he just packaged a little different. He packaged a little different. He say things a little different, but really same situation, same type of scenario, same type of thing going to go down. So if you have not processed this, the, the good, bad and the ugly, which really wasn't no good in here. It was just bad and ugly. If you have not processed the bad and the ugly, you're going to do the same thing over again. So you got to get it all the way in your spirit, because guess what? You cut them off since y'all stopped talking, which I think you said was around September. But, you know, y'all still. Y'all still he still could come back. He still could come back and you could be dealing with him in three weeks from now. So you got to think about this and you got to make sure that you have truly made a decision. And here's the lesson from this overall. When you meet somebody and they tell you their relationship resume, you really got to read it. You really got to pay attention to it. You really, or if you know their relationship resume, or if it's stuff that you can find out on your own and you see all these terminations on their, on their resume, you know, you, you see this bad record. You got to take note of that and you got to do something about it. So I want you to think about this and Make sure that you say that you make a rule. I will never again date somebody who's legally married because that's always going to be a mess. That's always going to be a mess. Sometimes women do it too. Sometimes women legally marry and go and date somebody. Even though the woman may not consider the man a rebound, the man is a rebound. Point blank period. You can't get around it. The man is a rebound. So y'all have to make sure when you date somebody that they 100 percent single and that you are 100 percent single, ready and willing to date and to build something with some intention and with some purpose. And then you have to watch um, in, in my book, Make It Work. If you do not have Make It Work, make sure you go get Make It Work. It's on Amazon, Barnes and Noble. Target, Walmart, wherever you, you get books from, you can get Make It Work. Just type in Tony Gaston, Make It Work. In there, I have a chapter that says, believe what they consistently show you. You have to, after the second month that he threw up his Christianity and why he has to leave you, after the second month, month three, four, and five would not have happened. See, I, I give you grace to, to be a fool one time. So you come back and you get played a second time. You need to be slapped from from that day forward. Them all the other times you need to be slapped. You know, no baby powder, no baby powder, front hand, back hand, just like this here, because that right there completely ignorant. That's completely ignorant. And you have to realize that. 
And see, this is what I see. A lady wrote me. She said, Tony, why do women struggle so bad to love ourselves? Y'all don't use your brain. You got to use your brain and you got to listen to your intuition. You got to listen to your first mind, what we call it, the first mind. I should have listened to my first mind. I don't know what the first mind is, but that's what we call it. Listen to your first mind, which is really your intuition. It's your conscience that's telling you this is stupid. This is dumb. This is ignorant. This is beneath me. I'm smarter than this. I'm better than this. I deserve better. I deserve more. Listen to that. Listen to that and stop playing the fool. Stop being the fool. It doesn't pay well, and there's no reward for it. Hey, this is Tony Gaskin. Um, you know I hate to be that real and that raw with you, but I, I just I, I just don't have the time to be pulling punches and to just lie to you and to babysit you and to pacify you. We got to get the real truth. Same way I talk to you, same way I talk to myself. We got to be real with ourselves in order to make changes. So to everybody listening, watching, wherever you getting this from, stop playing the fool. Look at your life. Look at the red flags and ask yourself, am I playing the fool? Am I being a fool right now? If the answer is yes, get your stuff together, move forward with your life. Hey, this is Tony Gaskin. Thank you so much. Hey, make sure you subscribe to the podcast or to the YouTube. Hit the subscribe button so you are notified when I release something new. Um, if you're on YouTube, check the links in the description just in case there's something for you. Hey, we'll talk soon.